You've been looking into the factors for and against his run. Yeah, Cynthia, it's interesting. The same things that really former Congressman Beto O'Rourke has going for him could actually be against him as well as he launches a campaign that he says will mirror what we saw here in Texas in 2018. The way that we campaign for the last two years in Texas, uh, going everywhere, being for everyone, uh, listening to all, um, that's really what I think this country needs right now. We've never been more divided or polarized, more riven by partisanship. Uh, we need to come together, damn the differences, find the things that we share in common, and go after it and get it done. Sure sounds like and looks like the same candidate we watched run for Senate in our state, jumping on countertops, speaking in fluent Spanish at this event in Burlington, Iowa. Here's one difference, though. He was rarely on the attack here in Texas, but today, the first day of his campaign for president, he called out President Trump. And a commander in chief who does not believe in the ability for every single one of us to contribute to our full potential, who doesn't believe in the institutions that he has sworn to protect and serve and to defend. Attacking Trump is, is uh, an easy thing to do, and it's a good starter. If you're thinking of, thinking of things to say to the media, yeah, uh, knocking Trump is not going to hurt you at this point at all. Now, that was political scientist Harold Clark from the University of Texas at Dallas. And here's some of the things he says uh, are the case for Beto. He's young, he's a fresh face, and he's a liberal, which is what Democrats want. The case against him, though, inexperienced, perhaps too liberal to beat Donald Trump in the general election. And then, of course, there is this important point. He just lost a Senate campaign here in Texas. You might be surprised at what Clark says about that, why he says it could actually work in his favor. Chris and Cynthia. All right, Teresa Woodard in our Dallas newsroom. And with Beto O'Rourke, 15 major candidates are now running for the Democratic presidential nomination. The Democratic National Convention will host 12 primary debates starting in June of this year.